Hello people! With this art journal page, I'm going into a different direction than what I have done so far. Well, maybe I did a little bit of collaging, but not much, because I find that quite difficult uh, with collaging. So I went and watched some videos and I found this uh, channel by Violet Socks. She makes the most amazing pages with a magazine images and text. Really, really beautiful. So I thought to give this a go. And for Christmas, I got a big box of magazines uh, from my friends. And uh, so I had a few of them to go through. Um, there were a few happiness magazines in there and they have beautiful images. So I spent an evening uh, tearing out uh, images and text from magazines uh, of which I thought could work on a journal or journal page. So this, that is where these two little birds came from, from a happiness magazine. And I also had some ephemera. Uh, I have a big box with ephemera and uh, some book text. Um, so I grabbed some pieces of which I thought would work together. And um, I'm gluing that down with a mud patch. I'm working on um, watercolor paper on an A5 size. So these are all um, images and colors from the magazine Happiness with a little ephemera and book text. Now the hard part, I think, is um, in a moment I need to blend in all those pieces of paper together and so I've watched quite a few videos of Violet Socks. Uh, I will leave you a link in the description box so you can see for yourself to see how she does that and she is very good with um, combining the colors and mixing paint to um, make it work on all the pieces of paper you got there on your page. So that was a bit scary, but I have to say in the end, I was quite happy with the result. So here I am adding a watered down uh, gesso. I'm adding that with a brush uh, just to try and uh, tone down the background and making sure the birds will um, be the focal point of this page. So every now and then I'm cleaning up the birds a bit. Just adding it uh, with my brush and the pieces I want to uh, stand out I'm cleaning a bit. Then I had some more bits and pieces to glue down. I had some printed tissue paper. I printed myself and um, I wanted to have them on my page as well. Also I found a little image of a frame of which I thought could work on my page. So I'm gluing that down, all, uh, all of it with the Mod Podge. And also I used some stamps. My husband used to be a stamp collector and uh, he gave them to me for crafting. So I'm very happy with that. And of course, I chose the ones that were um, color-wise uh, a good fit for this page. So a bit more of the tissue paper and then I think I'm done with collaging. So now all I need to blend in all those uh, edges of the 
pieces of paper. So first I do that with uh, a gesso and using my finger to um, go over the edges and trying to make the background uh, to blend with each other and make the birds stand out. These are some acrylic paints. I believe there's one of our talent and one of Artista. And I'm mixing it with a bit of the white gesso I had left. And very carefully I'm um, adding the paint with my finger onto the background. Really, really like this technique, this collaging thing. And there are some great magazines out there with beautiful or fun or crazy images. So I told my dad, please, if you find any magazines, keep them safe for me. And I'm sure he will find a couple. These uh, are stamps from Stampendus. That's um, a, a, a stamp with some distressed lines. This is one of um, Craft Sensation, a very cheap brand. They sell at Action for the Dutch people. Just adding a bit of stamping and this one is from Dina Wakely. I just recently bought and I'm using the hearts. Two of them, the smaller hearts, two of them on the bottom and one on top. And this is also a, sta a stamping set from Action, which had the word destination and I thought that would be a good fit for this page. Still looking for big leather stamps. I haven't found them yet. I have a stencil, but I want to have the stamps. This stamp says our journey. And when I wanted to add it to my page, it didn't uh, worked all that well, so I'm trying again, which didn't work either. So in a bit, I will use my black Sharpie pen to um, make the word our journey complete. So now I'm going in with the red, that is an Artiste acrylic paint, the color Rouge, and I've mixed it with some gesso and using my fingertip again to add some of the red paint. Being a bit careful, but as I said, I thought in the end it turned out quite okay. So I'm really go going to try and make some more of these collage pages because I really like doing them. I don't like to use um, images of people on my pages for some reason. I don't know why that is. Um, well, probably because they don't mean anything to me. I don't know these people and so I prefer to use images of um, animals or illustrations or that kind of thing. But well, when I uh, have practiced a bit more of this collaging, I could uh, try and use um, images of models. I just recently saw a video of Pecker Dye 
Packer D, Packer Die, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, and she made an iCat, an index card a day, and that was so simple but so stunning. Just a picture of a watch and four male models and some splatters, and that was it. It was really beautiful. So using some of my Faber Castell Artist Pit Pens to add some shadowing to the birds and to the frame. And then uh, I'm splattering with some acrylic spray paint I made myself. And the last thing I do is add a date. I'm not sure if I am inking the edges. Well, I did a bit with the acrylic paint, of course. Yes, I am inking the edges with the Stazon Yet Black ink pad. So this is it for me now. And uh, my first, really my first collage page. Hope you liked it. Um, See you again soon, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.